Welcome to Star Wars Transmissions, I'm Dan. StarWars.com has announced four new canon novels that will all be released next year, all of which I'm super excited for. Star Wars Shadow of the Sith, Star Wars Brotherhood, Star Wars Stories of Jedi and Sith, and Star Wars Padawan will all drop at various points in the middle of 2022. Each of these novels sounds super fun and exciting, so let's discuss what we know about them. Starting with the novel I'm most excited about, which is Star Wars Shadow of the Sith. Written by Adam Christopher, Shadow of the Sith takes place nearly 20 years after the events of Return of the Jedi and finds Luke Skywalker and Lando Calrissian on a mission to locate Exegol. After Lando's daughter was kidnapped, something he mentioned in The Rise of Skywalker, he began searching the galaxy for her but to no avail. During his search, he eventually crossed paths with the Sith assassin Ochi of Bestoon, who was given a sacred knife from an envoy of the Sith Eternal and tasked with acquiring Darth Sidious's granddaughter Rey. The novel will see Lando and Luke team up and race into the mystery of the Sith's lingering shadow and aid a young family running for their lives. Everything about this book sounds awesome. Ochia Bestoon has been featured quite prominently in Greg Pak's Darth Vader comic series of late, so it'll be great to get even more stories featuring him. Additionally, the novel seems poised to expand upon some of the things depicted or mentioned in The Rise of Skywalker, which I'm very excited about. I'm assuming we'll learn more about the Sith Eternal and Darth Sidious's time prior to the events of The Force Awakens, which I'm clamoring for. I want to see Sidious and the Sith Eternal building up their forces on Exegol, and I'm hoping that will be explored in Shadow of the Sith. Plus, it'll be fun to see Luke and Lando teaming up, especially after the events of Return of the Jedi, which means we may get some info on Luke's new Jedi Order and might even get to see a young Ben Solo. Shadow of the Sith drops on June 28, 2022, and I can't wait for this one. Next up is Mike Chen's Star Wars Brotherhood, which follows Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker amidst the chaos of the Clone Wars. With a galactic-wide conflict having only recently begun, the novel novel sees Obi-Wan being dispatched to investigate an explosion that's devastated the planet Cato Nemoidia. Additionally, the novel will show Anakin being knighted as a Jedi Knight, something we've yet to see in canon, and will also feature my homegirl Asajj Ventress. The book sounds so dope. Obi-Wan and Anakin working together, Anakin being knighted, and Asajj Ventress all in one book, sign me the hell up. The description of the novel also states that Anakin will be bringing along a promising but conflicted youngling, which sure sounds like Ahsoka Tano will make appearance, which makes this book all the more intriguing. I'm assuming this novel will address that business on Kato Nemoidia that Obi-Wan mentioned to Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, which is great. Brotherhood drops on May 10th, 2022, and I'm very excited for it. The third novel revealed was Star Wars Stories of Jedi and Sith, which is a new middle grade anthology featuring adventures from 10 different authors. There's not a ton of info on this one, but the description of the novel states that the book will feature all new tales for some of the saga's most popular characters, from Luke Skywalker to to Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi to Asajj Ventress, and beyond, complete with beautiful spot illustrations. Not a ton of information to glean from there, other than there's going to be some familiar faces appearing in the novel, which should be fun. Not too much else to share with this one, so moving on to the last novel announced, which is Kirsten White's young adult novel, Padawan. This story will dive into Obi-Wan Kenobi's time as a Padawan under the tutelage of his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, which starts off with the two Jedi preparing to embark on a mission to a lush, remote planet once explored by an ancient Jedi before Qui-Gon goes missing. Obi-Wan decides to travel to the planet himself, where he encounters a group of Force-sensitive teenagers with no adult supervision, setting the stage for the novel. When reading the description of this book, the first thing that popped into my head was Qui-Gon's story in the Age of the Republic comic. While this novel will surely be different from the story we got in Age of the Republic for Qui-Gon, I've truly come to love getting stories that feature him. With the High Republic being out almost a year now, and getting to see the differences between the Jedi Order during that time and during Qui-Gon's time, I definitely think Qui-Gon and his beliefs on the Force and the Jedi Order would have more closely aligned with what we're seeing from the Jedi of the High Republic. Qui-Gon's actions seem to be more guided by the Force than the whims of politics, something that's in opposition to the Jedi Council of his time. I'm very excited to see if that's something that continues to be showcased in Star Wars Padawan, and I'm also looking forward to getting more information on Obi-Wan's time as a Padawan to Qui-Gon, so I'm very, very excited for this one. 
one. We're about nine months away from these novels dropping, so we've got a little bit of time before they're released. Nevertheless, the amount of Star Wars content we're getting in 2022, as well as in subsequent years, is beyond exciting, and these four novels are four more stories that I'm super excited to read. But what's your thoughts on this announcement, and which novel are you most excited for? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.